Hello guys, welcome to Shade's Tarot Tea. So today I am going to be doing a reading on Kehlani. Um, I haven't seen people do a reading on her, so I'm really excited to be one of the ones doing a reading on her like I did with Billie Eilish. So I'm so excited to do this and to get into her energy and to see what's going around Kehlani. If you guys are a Kehlani fan, welcome to my channel. I uh, love Kehlani. So I'm excited to know about her, what's going on with her right now because she's pregnant as we know. And um, yeah, so we'll see what comes out. Before I get started, I have to say this. I am available for personal readings. Um, so guys, please book with me. I'm very detailed and I love getting into the energy of you. So just let me know if you guys want to book a reading with me. Um, you can book with me by go before I make my website. I'm going to be making a website soon. So all you would have to do for now is go on to Elegant Flapper 92. I will have it on the side here and also in the description. Or my Yahoo, um, which is Sade's Tarot Tea at, uh, at Yahoo.com. <laughs> um, so that's the best way to contact me right now uh, until I'm able to make my website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up uh, Kehlani's chart. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so I have pulled up Kehlani's chart. As we know, she or if you're a Kehlani fan, you know that she's all up into she's all into astrology. Um, so this is going to be her son is going to her son. Excuse me, her son is in Taurus. Her moon is in Pisces. Her Mercury is in Taurus. Her Venus is in Aries. Her Mars is in Leo. So let's see what type of um, energy is around Kehlani right now. And yes, guys, I am a fan of hers, but that doesn't matter. When I pull on someone, it doesn't matter if I'm a fan I still am honest and um yeah so these are already coming out for her interesting so Kehlani is working hard she's hard at work as we know she's hard at work on some projects going on right now she has some things in the works for us she has some collaborations coming out um where she's going to collaborate more with people um she has people like even like that want to do like clothing lines with her um she has some people that want to collaborate with her music wise she has some people that she wants to do more things with her app that came out um and also clothing wise she's very heavily into fashion so one of her dreams that she's been working on for a while is like a clothing line she wants to she wants to um come out with a clothing line or to collaborate with someone that wants to work with her in regards to clothing that's what i just heard um but yeah uh, so that's currently what she's also working on her album and we know this if you're a fan you know this too she's working on her album and she's um <clears throat> this is her her daughter coming out Adea um her daughter's her daughter's name is Adea um her daughter actually too is her daughter is going to be a ball of energy like that's so beautiful to see that like her daughter is going to have so much warmth about her and um this light about her um and her daughter too is gonna grow up very spiritual her daughter is gonna be the the walking the walking and talking version of Kehlani which is gonna be awesome um also I'm hearing her daughter's gonna be very like wondrous and very uh very charismatic with her words she's gonna be very cute like she's gonna be able to um when she gets older of course like when she's a teenager like um, Kehlani's daughter actually has already been touched very spiritually. Uh, she, she has, she will have an angel, like, following her as she gets older. Um, even when she's little, like, Kehlani's daughter is gonna see things, like, before they happen. So, I don't know if she's gonna have, like, Scorpio in her chart. Um, and I like to pull on kids as well. So, if you guys want me to read on your children, I do readings on children too. But, yeah, that's what I'm hearing is, like, she, she likes to um she's gonna see things so I don't know what her daughter is um if her daughter's gonna have Scorpio in her chart or some type of like water energy where she's very intuitive also Kehlani already knows what her daughter's gonna look like by the way guys because she has that moon in Pisces um and she has her rising in Cancer but Kehlani's very like she's very psychic too like Kehlani can she knows things uh, things are going to happen before they happen uh that she's she manifests a lot of things that um are going to happen before they happen I'm trying to say um but yeah I'm hearing too Kehlani before this baby comes she has to let go 
um, of a lot of attachments. There's some there's some change that Kehlani is resisting, um, whether that be with people in her team or her squad. Like she she needs to let go because they're not safe around her daughter. Like these people are very like. I don't know who they are, but they're just not very safe. So she needs to be careful um, if Kehlani sees this. Like, Kehlani needs to be very careful with who you surround yourself with. Um, and you be very careful of that. So, um, because it's just, I feel like if she's not, there will be a lot of chaos around her daughter. And you really don't want that to happen. So, anyway, but yeah. Yeah, Kehlani is, she's coming out as the Queen of Pentacles. Kehlani has beautiful energy. I love her energy, but she's very, she's, she's working on being very stable. She's working on being able to really provide for her daughter. She's not only that of her daughter, but of her family. Like she's always been someone that strives to want the best for her, her family and her daughter. And she wants more kids, of course we know, but she really is hard at work right now, even though she's, you know, she's pregnant. She's not letting that stop her. So what's around Kehlani's energy right now? What's around Kehlani's energy right now? Hmm. So I don't like that I'm feeling this. Okay. Um, so I don't know if this has to do with Kehlani's daughter, but that's what I'm hearing as well. Um, there's going to be some type of news that Kehlani gets, some type of like people around her that are very like immature that there's there's people around Kehlani that are super immature like they do stupid shit and I keep feeling that for her so I have to say it but Kay like be very careful who you're surrounding yourself with right now because I'm seeing that somebody I I did a practice reading for her and I and I saw that someone was gonna backstab her I should have put that video up but someone I still feel this way I feel like somebody is I don't know the daughter is gonna be I'm I'm very concerned for the daughter around what's a what's around the daughter because when this baby is born okay you need to be super protective I'm not saying crazy shit's gonna happen like your daughter's gonna be taken from you but I am hearing that some type of news you're gonna get some type of people around you are going to just do shit that is going to cause you to be very unstable um, and to be very sad. Also, I feel like after Adea is born, Kehlani is going to go through a period where um, I think it's called postpartum, right, guys? Postpartum where she's very depressed. So I do see that happening. That happens after, you know, baby's born. That does happen. Um, I feel like she'll come out of it, but I do see Kehlani going through that. A mild form of depression. Um, I feel like too, she's been, you know, I feel like too, Kehlani has been trying to be very happy, very calm, very centered, but there's just people around Kehlani that are just, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, four of pentacles. Yeah. There, there's some type of energy around Kehlani right now where it's making her, there's four, I feel like there's four people around Kehlani right now that don't. Ugh. they're just being very greedy very greedy and also too I feel like you know Kehlani when this baby comes I feel like she's gonna be very like protective over Adea she's gonna learn to be very protective I feel like Kay can be a little too trusting at times um with the people that are in her circle I am feeling that she's very careful at this she's careful who's around her but at the same time like She's not always the best at kind of sifting through the bad people that are around her. I'm not getting like crazy, crazy energy of these people, but they're just very immature people. They're people that are just like, they're not her usual circle um, as well. So I feel like she she's around people that ask her for money a lot. She's around people that just take from her. And, you know, there's just going to be a lot of, I feel like, chaos around Kehlani. Um there already is and there's also she's just worried too I think she's really worried um okay that was too many so let's see 
But yeah, the Ten of Cups just came out, so that's good to see that that flipped over for her. But she's fine. She's gonna like move past this though, which is beautiful to see this. She's gonna move past this. She's gonna come out of this feeling of sadness of you know, this postpartum type of energy. She's gonna realize, you know, and get back to her roots. Kehlani's gonna need to get back to her roots and I feel like Adea is gonna help her with that because she's just been kind of like off center a lot. Yeah. And, and I feel like Adea is really gonna... Tr I wonder if Adea is gonna have Leo in her chart. Now, I do feel like, guys, her daughter is gonna be a cusp. I've been saying that. I feel like her daughter is gonna be an Aries... Uh, Pisces cusp Pisces Aries cusp so I feel like the daughter is going to be very strong and I actually want to pull on how Adea's energy is like how she's going to be when she's older and how she's going to be growing up like I'm very curious about that um so anyway but yeah okay I would say be very careful who you surround yourself with your strength is being tested a lot like while, while you're pregnant and you know the people that are like around you right now like it is being tested girl like so um but she's learning to drop a lot of things she's learning to let go of a lot of things um that i want to say that she she's dropping everyone but she is learning of what does not serve her which is good to see that um so let's see yeah she's gonna get happiness i'm so happy to see that she's gonna get happiness that's beautiful <clears throat> Yeah, oh my god, Kay, yes, yes, girl. She's gonna, she, her daughter is gonna bring her that, that inner peace, that inner happiness, because Kaylani always felt like something was missing. She always felt like that. And before she had, before she has a day, like, or had, excuse me, before she had a day, she always felt like, okay, like something's missing in my life. So now she's feeling like, her life is complete. Like, she's feeling like Adea is going to fill that void. And for the most part, I am seeing Adea fill that void for her, which is beautiful. That's that's beautiful. Two of Wands. Yeah, she she's indecisive about something, though. So. <clears throat> okay, so let's pull on uh, what happened. What's, I mean, let's pull on um, how Adea is going to be. I'm curious about Adea. So what kind of person is Adea going to be? And we'll also pull on the type of mom. So I'm going to do a spread on Adea and I'm going to do a spread on Kehlani. So this, this video is mainly going to be about Adea and Kehlani. <laughs> oh, the sun card came back out. That's for Adea. That's beautiful. So Adea is going to definitely be someone that she's going to be very, uh, she's going to be full of light. She's going to be someone that is very strong in, in her energy. She's going to have very strong energy. So I'm curious to see what's in her chart. I keep hearing Leo. So I don't know if Adea is going to be a Leo rising. I'm very curious to see what her rising is going to be. But I feel like she's going to light up a room when she comes into the room. She's going to like light it up. She's going to have this beautiful smile as she gets older. And she's just going to be someone that I keep hearing this like angels are going to follow her. Angels are going to be attracted to her light. She's going to be very intuitive I feel like too. But with energy. Like she's going to be very intuitive with energy. Like she'll be able to walk into a room and feel when the energy isn't right or feel when the energy is off. Also, this is this is so Kehlani. She's attracted to sunflowers. I feel like as well, like Kehlani, I don't know if the nursery has sunflowers or if she's like if her daughter is going to be attracted to sunflowers or what. But Adea, something about sunflowers. Like I know Kehlani loves sunflowers, but something having to do with Adea too. Like it's going to be about Adea. So I don't know if Kehlani's put sunflowers around her nursery or if they're like like they're stenciled on the wall or something. Or that's what I'm hearing too, so that's interesting. Um, her daughter also is going to be someone that likes to play uh, make-believe. Like, she's going to have moments where, you know, she loves horses. 
um, as well. Um, I never really, like, look at the horse too much, but I feel like she's gonna, like, like things like horses and, um, play dress up like she's a princess, you know, like, stuff like that. She's gonna, like, very fairy tale, um, like, stuff. She's gonna, like, love to study horses, too. Um, Ke Keilani's daughter is gonna, like, have a thing for horses. She's gonna want to ride on horses. She's gonna love watching horses. Like, anytime Adea sees a horse, she's gonna get very excited. Like, she's like, oh my god, like, like, I just see that type of energy for her. Yeah. And Adea, I don't know what her Mars will be in, but she's going to be someone that doesn't hold grudges. She lets things go, like, very easily. She lets things go. So I'm curious as to what her Mars is in, uh, or what her Mars will be in, excuse me. Um, she, she doesn't like, conf she's going to be someone that doesn't like confrontation. So I'm pulling more so of a passive Mars placement for her. Um, you know, she's just gonna be like, let, let that shit go. And she's not gonna be greedy. She's not gonna be a greedy person. Um, Kehlani's gonna raise her to not be a greedy person, to not be a stingy person, and to always care about people. And she's gonna be very caring. And that's because of her mom. That's because of Kay the, the type of person Kehlani is. Um, but also her daughter is gonna be very sensitive. There's gonna be something very sensitive about her. Um, where things, she gets her feelings hurt a lot, like, she's very sensitive, but she doesn't hold grudges, but she gets her feel. she'll get her feelings hurt a lot, she's very sensitive, so I don't know what, I'm wondering what else will be in her chart, it could be the Pisces about her, uh, I mean, that part of her Pisces energy, but yeah, yeah, she's not gonna hold, she doesn't like things holding her down, she doesn't let things tie her down, she doesn't stay down for long, she's always, she's very optimistic, very optimistic so again I don't know if she will have Sag in her chart or she's very optimistic like you know always looking always looking to the brighter things in life very attracted to light too she's gonna want like night lights in her room a lot she's not gonna like the darkness that's what I heard too uh Adea isn't gonna like darkness like she's not gonna want to be in the dark or you know even if she has Scorpio on her chart I don't feel like she'll she's very she'll be very attracted to light like light also yellow too things that are very light and I and I pay attention to the yellow in my cards as well that just drew my eye even this too also I'm hearing too that Adea as she gets older um she's gonna be someone too that likes to like she likes to have her own like she likes to get her own she doesn't she won't like handouts she doesn't want people helping her this is gonna be the Aries I feel like in her chart um, or whatever else is in her chart, but she's also gonna be someone that wants to feel stable, you know, because, you know, Adea will go through things in life where she doesn't feel stable, where her strength will be tested, and that's just life, guys, that's just life, but d definitely, you know, she's gonna go through things where her strength will be tested, you know, for sure, but she will always prevail, that's a beautiful thing about this energy I'm feeling from Adea, is she will always prevail, and she'll, like, she's gonna be very successful, so I don't know what she's gonna do, um, I don't know if she wants to get in, like, when she gets older, she'll want to get into this, the singing industry or, you know, maybe something artistic. Her daughter's going to be very, like, creative. So very imaginative. And from that imagination is going to stem her creativity. But as well, Adea will be someone that doesn't really like, she, she can stand up for herself, but she doesn't. I don't know she's someone that doesn't like saying how she feels she doesn't like communicating especially if she's angry she won't want to communicate when she's angry she'll like go somewhere and then she'll come back and talk to you but a lot of times she'll put a smile on her face and she'll be like oh I'm good and she's not really good like she, <laughs> she's not good um but you will think she's good so this is very interesting Aw, but she'll be, she'll have a very happy childhood. She'll have a happy life. She'll be a very happy kid. Her daughter's gonna be very happy. Very bright, very happy, very smart, um, creative, uh, very, like, you know. She's gonna be something in business, too, I just heard. I feel like Adea's gonna, maybe she won't get into the music industry. She'll get into, like, business. Like, or if it is in the music industry, industry she'll do something with, like, the, the business, like, she can be like a very, she's, Adea's gonna be a very smart businesswoman. That's what I just heard. And I don't usually hear that for this card. What else is Adea gonna be? What else is her personality gonna be like? Oh! Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Yeah. 
her her daughter is going to be someone that loves to invest in things i'm telling you guys she's gonna she likes to she's gonna be someone she's gonna be a woman that loves to invest um likes to put her business into things that will help grow her business um or grow something she's gonna be very she's gonna be a very smart businesswoman she's not gonna make moves suddenly she's gonna wait on a lot of things that happen she's gonna watch her mom too she's gonna be very observant and she's gonna have a thing for like business so I don't know what she might get into this is exciting to see like what she'll get into but she's gonna be someone that is like a very smart businesswoman like I see that for a day Okay, so let's talk about the type of mom Kehlani is going to be and then we'll cut the video. We'll stop the video. So what type of mom is Kehlani going to be to Adea? What type of mom is Kehlani going to be to Adea? Aww. So Kehlani is really going to be focusing on her daughter. That's beautiful. Of of course we would hope so right but she's gonna be really focusing on her daughter's happiness she's gonna make sure that her daughter is good like and that her daughter has a good uh like family life good childhood growing up um and she can be very like like even though this is in the reverse I feel like it should be in the upright um but she's gonna be very protective over her daughter but not to the point where like it stifles her daughter from growing or from learning things um in life you know and also hearing that she wants to get her acquainted to animals like she wants her to like I don't know like have a thing for dogs because I know Kehlani likes dogs so she's gonna, she wants her to be like, um, she wants to put her around pets because she feels like that would help her. Um, I also feel like she's gonna sing to her daughter a lot. So I don't know if Kehlani recently got a rocking chair, um, but at night she's gonna sit and like sing to her daughter. She actually has written a lot of songs about her daughter at this point. And on the album, there's actually a song dedicated to Adea uh, for the album. So I don't know if she's going to think about putting that on for, you know, to share that. But we'll see. Um, yeah, she she's wants to be Adea's rock. She's going to be her strength. You know, she wants, to, she wants Adea to lean on her a lot of times and be very, like, be a mama's girl. She wants her to be a mama's girl. That's so cute. Um... And I'm just hearing, like, even in the worst of times, she wants Adea to be very, like, she wants to be Adea's best friend. Like, it's just me and you, baby girl. That's what I hear her say. Like, it's just me, me and you, baby girl. Like, it's just us. Like, yeah. It's beautiful. The star in the reverse. And she got the hangman in the reverse. Yeah, she's going to be very careful with certain things that she teaches her daughter, though. As she's going to be, like, even with, like, destiny and fate, I'm hearing, like, she wants her, she wants to be very careful on spiritually how she, like, comes at her. Because she doesn't want to impose, like, she doesn't want to impose her beliefs on Adea. So, she wants her daughter to feel like she can have her, like, she can have an open mind about anything. She can, she wants... She wants to be careful what she teaches her, but she wants her to also feel like the world is her oyster, like, and that she can learn so much from, um, the world, and, you know, let's see what else, let me pull one more card, and, okay, that one jumped out, yeah, she also wants to teach her four pentacles, this one came out again, she wants to teach her not to, like, be a greedy person to be a giving person to be a very caring person and that means a lot to Kehlani and she tries to be that person and she wants to pass that down to Adea which is beautiful I think Kehlani is going to be a beautiful mother I think she is made for this I feel like she's she has like Leo uh, I feel like uh, Kehlani has Leo's like in, in like the house of family or something um or something like of that nature you know like with aspects so yeah, this was, guys, this was my reading on Kehlani and how she'll be as a mom. And the this reading was on Adea, so I'm so excited for Kehlani to be a mother. Um, let me know if you guys want a part two on some of the things that have happened in Kehlani's life. I was wanting to pull on that, but I want to keep it very positive because that was a moment in her life where it was dark. 
but if you guys want me to pull on that too, like leave those questions in the comments section below. Again, I am available for personal readings. Um, like I said, you can hit me up on my D at my DM at elegantly elegant flapper 92 um, or you know hit, hit me up on my Yahoo Shades Tarot at yahoo.com and I look forward to speaking with you guys if you are wanting to book with me and um, you know I, like I said I got some more videos coming out very excited about those so please stay tuned and this has been Shades Tarot love and light guys bye